Welcome back everybody to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over how you can create a stem and leaf plot using the stem graphic package. First things first, let's go over where you can get the package and find out more information about the package. Here we are at python.org. Let's go to the Python package index. Type in stem graphic. Let's click on the package. Here we have some information about the package. If you scroll down, you get some information about how to install the package. If you click here on the home page link, then scroll down, you can access the documentation in PDF form or online. And if you skim over some of this information, you can find out all kinds of cool things you can do with the package. Okay, let's go back to our Jupyter Notebook. And for this example, we've gone ahead and imported stem graphic, seaborn, and numpy. For this list of numbers, we want to see the shape of the distribution using the stem and leaf plot. To use the stem graphic package, we type out stem graphic dot stem graphic, putting an underscore between stem and graphic. Then inside the round brackets, we put our numbers list that we created here. And then in this example, we're going to use a scale of 10. And you can see information about the key and the scale here. We've also used NumPy to display the median for our numbers data set, which is 37. Now notice in our stem and leaf plot, you can see the median here, 37. And you can see the 7 is underlined. You can also see the minimum number, number 2 and the maximum number, 55. Over here on the far left, we have a type of enumeration that gives us the numbers associated with the values. Okay, so for example, here we have 2, that's 1. Then here we have 10 and 14, so that would be the cumulative value of 1, 2, and 3. Here we have 22, 22, 25, and 29, which adds up values 1, 2, and 3, and 4 gives us 7, all the way up to 25. And of course, here we have our stems, and here we have our leaves. If you'd like to find out more about the arguments that you can put in here, you can type out stem graphic dot stem graphic with the underscore question mark. Here you can see the arguments, and below you get descriptions of the arguments. So you can see there's lots of cool things you can do with the stem graphic stem and leaf plot. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.